the data here shows the categorical variable G type T with 200 observations of four different categories. Capital A, capital B, capital A, small b, small a, capital B, and small a and b. And we wish to describe the data that we have. So we go to graph, and we will choose a bar chart. We have unique observations listed here. So out of the various data source options, we will stick with the default counts of unique values. And we have no groups within the data, so we will use a simple bar chart and click OK. We have to select the variable, but we only have one variable that we have. So we can highlight the variable and press select, or alternatively, double click to bring this into the variable box. Using the various default options, we will just click OK. We immediately see a bar graph. In this graph, the height of each column represents the count or number of observations of each particular category. If we wished, we could change this to a percentage by doing right click, graph options, and change Y to a percentage. The height of each bar now represents the percentage for each particular category. We can further edit this graph by selecting a particular item or a property. So we could go to select item and we could select X scale, Y scale or data region. We can also select these by double clicking directly on a particular property. So if we double click on the X scale, we can edit this particular item. We could go to font to change the font size of the X labels. Under scale, we could also choose to change the gap. So we could reduce it from 1.5 to 0 0.5. Click OK. So there's a whole range of ways that this graph can be edited by pointing to the different property and using right click options. We can also choose to display this data in other ways. For example, we could count the number of observations in each particular category by going to Stat, Tables, Tally Individual Variables. We will select our variable. We wish to display the counts and we wish to store the results. So if we press OK, the analysis has for each separate category counted the numbers of individual observations. And we can still display this data in this summarized form. So for example, if we go to back to graph, the bar chart, now we would want to take values from a table. And again, using a simple bar chart, we click OK. And here we need to get the values are stored under tally 2. And we need to identify the names of the variables. And these are under tally 1. And we can just run the analysis. And we get the same bar chart as before. We can also obtain other charts, for example, a pie chart. And using the counts of unique values again, we run OK. We can also edit this graph. So if we right click on the graph and edit pi, we could choose to explode the different sections. We can then add labels to each of these slices. And we might choose either to give the, the name, the frequency or the percentage. And then we could draw a line from the labels to the slice if we wished. Click OK. We can then edit individual labels by right clicking, edit slice labels, and then changing the font size. 
and as with the other graphs there is a variety of ways in which this chart can be edited.